Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is only slightly rainy with streaks of lovely sunshine. Everyone in Wellington Wells is doing exactly what he or she ought to. Smiling and laughing and taking their joy. What about you? That's right. I'm talking to you. Are you doing what you should? <laughs> of course you are. After all, you're not a downer, are you? We know what to do about downers, don't we? Now, some people have asked me what to do about the happy, excited throngs running through the streets. What you should do is... Join the fun! <laughs> everybody it is finally time for we happy few i hope you're excited i am i've been talking about this game for almost two years now uh this is a game i've been waiting for desperately wanting to play it it's by compulsion games and uh, you remember the game contrast or maybe you won't but i played contrast on on my channel and uh, it's a lot different than this game but uh, that's how I first learned about compulsion games saw their booth at PAX two years ago and they were showing early pictures of We Happy Few and just giving you a little bit of teasers about it and if you don't know what it is it is a game set in this dystopian future oh man permadeath oh man I'm a little scared about that I'm a little I'm a little scared but you know what that's how they that's how they want the game to be played so we're gonna do it we're gonna try it we're gonna see what happens this might be short-lived, um, but we're going to do it. Um, so, Dystopian Future, everyone is taking a drug called Joy. Um, and it, it, keeps them, it keeps them very happy. As long as you're on your Joy, you're happy, and you look just like everyone else. Everyone sees what they want to see, you know, the, the joyous things they want to see. And uh, as you'll see here, you're, you're set up with a redactor here, and you're redacting some information to make sure everyone... Uh, um, Make sure everyone is good and happy. And if you go off your joy, oh, heavens, no. well, what's he? Uh, what's he got to redact here? Oh, all of that. Wow. Okay. Um, if you go off the joy, you're 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 no longer. Um, what everyone wants to see. You're now a downer, and uh, you don't want that. No one wants that, and people will try to murder you for being a downer. He's gonna take him some joy now. For noise, top up your joy. Maybe not. Maybe he's going off the joy. Maybe the day's the day. Today's the day. What would I have if I'd just taken the joy now? Percy! Percy! Game over is what would happen. <laughs> what have you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since 10 o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Oh, boy, a pinata. Oh no, I have some joy on the ground. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish <laughs> up. Uh, just have a few more pages. Uh, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Don't worry. I'm going to redact all the things. Aha. Uh -huh. The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. Of course, of course I will. Don't don't keep staring at me, lady. Department of Archives, Recycling and Printing, City of Wellington Wells. 
Gotta find us a new power cell. Hi. I do hope you're planning on finishing by Victory Day. Oh, don't you worry. We're not gonna miss Victory Day. Whatever that is. Okay, look at that. There is now a curfew in effect at night. All right, perceive you and Arthur were surprise winners of a scrap drive. Arthur told the judge the brother had a photographic memory. Percy knew exactly where all the old cars and prams and things were in Garden District. Percivio himself rarely speaks of strangers, apparently. The scrap we melted down and used to support the war effort instead of the Soviet Union, which is by all reports going splendidly. The brothers brought in a record like 1658 pounds of scrap steel, winning them $50 victory against communism pun. The second prize went to Alan Unwin. Um, let's accept that document. We're brothers. I'll always look after you. You know that. Now that I recall, you were a rubbish goalkeeper at school too, weren't you? How does she know? Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't I won't. Miss the pinata. Okay, I won't miss the pinata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? Um, I made her a welcome back card. Uh, I'm just accepting all the documents. I ain't afraid. Down with censorship, man. Drug trust coffee assess reports. Uh, first round of trials and a new anti melancholic medication have been qualified success, stated Alexander Gross, acting head of the Melancholy Studies Laboratory. A drug reduced melancholy feelings to 28 out of 30 despondent rats over a 28-day period. Despondency can be induced in rats by repeatedly giving them electric shocks to ponder. <laughs> despondent rats take up to twice as long to navigate a maze. After administration of the drug, perceivably despondent rats regained up to 50% of their navigation speed before administration of the shocks. The drug now has been tested in human volunteers. Citizens who wish to apply for potential volunteer or a waiting list can do so at Royal Victoria. Oh yeah, we, we gotta keep that. Let them know they can go get some drugs. Maybe I should have censored that. Okay. There's no canister. Alright, let's take the power cell with us. Never know what we might need it. Today is pinata day. Beauty is truth. <laughs> Do you um, think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Huh. Well, that would break it for everybody. What's this? Clive Earth Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? lore found. Mr. Birth Whistle. It is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I'm afraid that it would be dis destabling to swap our office with that of Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel the sunshine on your face, whether you have a window or not. Jesus Christ. Alright, what's he got in here? He's got some power cells. What's up with this line? Restricted area. No one throws personal there behind this point. <laughs> Can't stop me, motherfucker! Alright, restore machine. I'll take your power cell too. How about that? Oh, he's got, uh. Alright, let's put a power cell in there. He's got some some stuff here too. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of all the news. Farm workers expect to return from Germany. Wait, are we correcting the record? Didn't it say it was 1964, not 1946? Did I see that wrong? Um, however, it's the frost painting. Uh, 100 million farm workers expected to return home. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah, it is 64. Man, we're correcting the record. We're going back and changing the fucking history. 1952, taxi service restored in three weeks. 
Let's improve this shit too. Dance Rogers English Cross Walk in Wellington under reopens. Thanks to heroic efforts by Colonel uh, Von Stauffenberg's efficient mechanics, the Wellington Under will restore limited service. The following stations will be served one hour after curfew ends. Waterloo, Mensura, City Hall, Trafalgar, Therma, Victoria. Tickets are 1S6P for the aged. Uh, 1 silver and 6P for the aged. Okay. I found an anonymous letter in Clive's, Clive's office. That Here's what it says. shit. He wants my view. <laughs> One of your employees is subversive. It may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commissary telling his friends that he thinks his job redacting old articles is silly. And what's so scary about the truth? He is very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I am naturally a shy woman and... What a bitch. Look at that. Marking my face out. Let's take a power cell. Let's look at this person. Everyone with their masks. Right, whose office was this? Brick, brick whistle. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Oh, man. <laughs> Come back. Um, hmm. Doesn't look good in here. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? She found some real joy. Are you off your joy, Prue? I mean, you too. You too. I'm kind of expecting to find something important in one of these, uh, one of these articles here. I guess we're going to find out. A new and exciting expo exposition. Uh, exposition is open to the public. Oh man, that's awesome. Visitors will learn how to be on alert for communist conspiracies and propaganda. I want to prove it everything, man. Let's get the word out there. Let's get the no let's keep the knowledge. Let's keep the fucking the paper. It was probably censored before it was written the first time anyways. Baby's weight and tripe for free. Remember to turn on in your automotive. Remind citizens that all private automotives have been requisitioned by them. What? Must contain at least one quarter tank of petrol too whenever you return it. Fuck that. Let's keep this shut so people know what happened. can't allow this. We're going to change the world. We're going to do it. We're, we're bringing sexy back. <laughs> um, Martha Worthing will open Battle of Flowers. And we'll be crowned the Junior Field Commander in Battle of Flowers. We'll take some, uh, Battle of Flowers dates back to 1920. Participants in the Flower Parade decided to dismantle their floats and attack each other with brooms. What? That sounds crazy. I wonder why everyone wears white masks. That's something I don't know. Foreign Breeder Riot. This is 1951. Um, one man and three unnamed women were arrested in what the police are calling another Breeder Riot. The victim, Miss Ann McCutcheon, appears to be in stable condition with her husband, Mr. Cyril McCutcheon. There is no word yet on the condition of her baby whose birth was not expected for another two months. Oh, man. The arresting officer, P.C. John Constable, stated it is dangerous for women who are in the family way to strut their condition about. Frankly, it sets people off when decent folk are doing the level best to forget. Oh, fuck that. Approved. Get the record out there. We will not correct the record. All right, let's go. Anything else I can take with me? Hopkins John is is not a... I said my joy! I said my joy! Guys, leave me alone! 
Oh. Oh. Is he giving him some joy? Oh, hi, Arthur. Hi. Hi. Uh. Okay. Can I come in? Guess not. What's that? Oh, more record to be corrected. Man, they, they're not very tidy folk. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> I mean, going back and rerunning history is a, is a pretty hard job, right? This is Dr. Joy. I don't actually know his name, but he, he likes to make sure everyone's on their joy. Odd. I never noticed that. We should fix that or empty the bucket at least. <laughs> uh, probably should get back on your joy, buddy. There you are. Hey. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the candy comes out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. I don't really hit wanna. It. I don't really. Give it a whack. Hit it. Hit Go it. on, give it a big old whack. I don't. What are you waiting for? I don't. On, I don't know. Silly face off. We don't I don't. I don't. I don't smash wanna. It. Do I have to? Do I have to? Is it gonna make me feel better? Okay. Oh God! Is that the candy? This doesn't look like candy. Oh fuck sakes! What the fuck are y'all eating? Oh, yep. Not on my joy. You are off your joy. I am. Take one of mine. No, I'm good. I don't think oh I wanna. He's a down. Call security. Don't call anybody. Fuck. Um, hmm, could have picked a better, uh, better hiding spot there, buddy. Um, okay. Oh, fuck. Gotta go. Uh, grab one. Yeah, there you go. I will fuck you. Okay, they fucked me instead. Good Christ! I can't believe I'm still alive. More or less. What's going on? Ow! Sounds like I lost an argument with a train. <laughs> I can't go back. I've got to get out of here. At least they didn't kill me, right?